are other professions which are against nature. So, how can they say this? Here is just pure duality. You go work in a restaurant, cutting animals, and you have read this point before. Does this strike you? No. And against the government which is giving licenses to slaughter homes. True. Even liquor uh, places, actually in Karnataka, the region where we live, uh, and uh, the book is made from Karnataka Sarkara. Here, uh, Chief Minister has allowed all kinds of slaughtering places and uh, has given 700 licenses to 700 different kinds of uh, um, liquor stores. All of these stupid things are going on. I would not say it's one person's problem. It's happening in a total big scale. And uh, next, if the earth could talk, what would it say? Protect me by making every day earth day. Okay, if the earth could talk. So what do they mean by this? Earth could talk. Okay, in, in case the earth could talk, it would have told this kind of a thing. But what do they mean by earth day? It's true, earth day means protecting the earth. But then, what does the person do afterwards? In every single profession, he ends up destroying earth. You build a building, a big building, and you keep working with cement instead of working with uh, mud, you are destroying the earth. And if you create big, big uh, towers, you are destroying biodiversity. And if you, um, uh, if you pollute, if you sit in different kinds of factories, if you kill people uh, and animals, then also you are destroying Mother Nature's laws. So, here everything that good is given, everything would be appreciated at this point. But what will happen if everything is opposite when they come out of school? So what is education? How are they going to educate you? How, how did they come about this? They say save environment. How are they going to save environment? Is it possible for you to save environment when um, you are in professions which destroy an, an, um, environment to eat your bread? So just imagine. It's duality. Here they say something, there they say something. It's all different. And uh, they actually make us, they pull us towards the lure of money, paper. Here. And uh, instead of all of these things, when it, uh, um, you should actually make your children learn Subhashitals or even other religions, there are these good sayings. In every religious textbook, the, the, there are some good sayings or subhashitas. Su means good. Bhashita means what is said. Subhashita means the one which is said which is good. Those sayings which are good. So uh, there are also these rhymes you have seen. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, 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 three bags full. What do they mean by this? I never learned these rhymes. What's the use of learning rhymes? What is this Baba Black Sheep going to teach you? Instead of this, if children are taught Bhagavad Gita or Quran or Bible from when they are small, if they are nurtured with Subhashitas or good sayings and all these things or with um, uh, God's stories, it could be of any religion, but God's stories, this thing makes the child very peaceful and calm from birth and will be very intelligent and his character will be wonderful. So this, if there are such people on earth, then societal problems will just disappear. And bad people will reduce sufficiently, like um, in a large scale. So, but this doesn't happen because people are then stuck with rhymes. And what do rhymes teach you? Just cruelty. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? No, 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 that's for my skin. That's for my warmth, it's not for you. Sheep don't have their wool for us. They have their wool for their own body. We have no right to skin them and get all of the wool that they use in winter for their own uh, warmth. Why if somebody just removes uh, your shirt and all of the things that you're wearing in a winter season? Hope, uh, okay, in case you're insane and you allowed yourself to be uh, just without any clothes. But still, well, wouldn't it be just very cold for you? Just imagine what we're doing to different animals, how we're torturing them, kicking them, killing them, putting a hot water on them. Human crimes have gone so high and there's the government supporting all of these human crimes. I know it's our problem too that we are subjecting to human crimes, but it's solely because of the government and our foolish tendency and the government which is fooling us that this is all happening. So instead of this, an alternate, because I don't want to just keep 
blaming different kinds of people. I've given an alternate here, um, alternative. This is the Subhashitas. In Sanskrit, the Subhashitas are very important. These Subhashitas are good sayings. So let's see a few. It's a very wonderful one. So you can buy this book. It's uh, yeah, you can buy it in Vedanta Book House in um, or you can send an email to them on Vedanta Books at vsnl.net or you can call the number two two six five zero seven five nine zero. So then you can get these kinds of books from them. Uh, I would like to tell you one verse from this. There are so many different kinds of verses. So they are at least about. Um, there are at least about there are 108 pages in it and uh, each page has about four verses or three so because of this this book is totally full of different kinds of good things so let's see a verse from this pitva kardam paniyam Bheko rata rata yate Pakwam chutarasam pitva Garvam nayati kokilaha Even though a frog drinks filthy water from filthy places, it still proudly croaks. But a cuckoo which drinks very sweet mango juice is never proud of itself and never shows off its pride. So this means that a, a foolish, ignorant person will think he is very great even though he is having dirty surroundings. Uh, but a good person, though in clean surroundings and having good behavior, good conduct, everything, will not boast of this. And this is very true. In, in modern day, ignorant people keep talking. So this is a verse to recognize ignorant people. Anybody who praises himself can easily be known as an ignorant person because that a person who praises himself is generally insecure. So an insecure person means that he does not have proper good surroundings. That means he is ignorant. So there is one more nice one. There are many in this so you can read it. It's so wonderful. Uh, it is only the good character that declare uh, that declares one a Brahmin, not his birth, nor his family, nor even his learning and erudition. His birth is not important. Now there are Brahmins, so-called Brahmins, which come. So according to, uh, in Hinduism, there, there's been a big conflict on Brahminism and all these things. Here is the truth. It's present in Mahabharata. And one should know this, our ancient Hindu system and even other systems have so much, so much meaning. Still the atheists come to break us. We should not break, we should be one. So, one more thing is, Yet pratas sanskritam bhojyam sayam tachavinashyati Okay, so there is a body. Uh, the food that is cooked in the morning becomes stale and rotten in the evening. True, it's very true. Even if you keep it in the fridge, it still acquires the properties of stale. That is cold and uh, like not having the exact taste. So that is called rotten, that is called stale food. So a body which consumes such stale food, will it be um, lively? Will it be fresh? No. A body which consumes stale food will also be stale. That, that's why this teaches us a lesson that we must not take food from the fridge or the microwave after reheating and doing all of these processes. Cook food, eat it. Next lunch. Cook food, eat it. That's what we must do. So. This is what is given. There's so many shlokas. Even this book can also be bought. You can see it here. There's a very nice book. It has so many different kinds of subhashita. Subhashita means the one which is told very perfectly. So it has so many different kinds of sayings in this. And uh, a person who studies this can easily 
um, say things properly. So, Niti Jnya, Niti Jnya, Api Bhavanti Shastra Jnya, Brahma Jnya, Api Labhya, Swagnya, Rajnani, Novirala. This is from the Vairagya Shitakam. If you read this meaning, you will know that people around us are like this normally. One would find those who know ethics, those who know the rule of fate, that is astrology, and all of these different kinds of things. They might even be people knowing all the Shastras or all the different kinds of religious texts. And they might be people knowing all the rules of humanity. They might be people knowing even God. And they might have even seen God. But you will never find a person who knows that he is ignorant. Nobody will accept nor will even perceive that he is ignorant. We all are ignorant so we must perceive that we are ignorant. Nobody can be great until we know that we are ignorant. We try to correct ourselves, correct ourselves, perfection, perfection, perfection and with total bhakti and devotion to the Lord then only we can become great. That means in the level of uh, worshipping the Lord. We are still very, very low. We have to come to the level of realizing that the Lord is the supreme. It can be in any form. Atheism should be destroyed. This is the purpose of education, to know the truth. But what is happening in modern day is totally different. So please, a, a request to the parents is please make your children study different kinds of subhashitas. It is there in all religions, every single look. Whether well, it's Gurbani, it's um, Quran, it's Bhagavad Gita, it's our ancient texts in Hinduism like um, all of these Sukti Malas, different kinds of things, or if it's uh, the Vedas, or if it's the Shastras, or if it's the Bible, all of these things have ancient, um, ancient like things which are very pure and which exist even today, which can be followed today. So, um, hope this video was informative for you. So. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna.